In this video, I'll talk about five tips on how to reduce the chances of being blocked when scripting websites. Let's dive right in. Hello everyone, this is Milly with the Octopars. In the last video, I talked about how to extract data on a large scale with Octopars Cloud Extraction. Now, as you scrape more websites, you may come across a situation where the website asks you to prove that you're not a robot, or even worse, you can't get access to the website. This is because the website is trying to identify or have already identified you as a scraping bot. Once you've been termed as a scraper, you're no longer able to visit the website. We all know that web scraping is a method often used to extract data from websites, and it is much more effective than copy and pasting manually. But some of you may not know that it comes at a price for the site owners. A straightforward example is that web scraping may overload a web server which may lead to a server breakdown. To prevent such a situation, more and more site owners have equipped their website with all kinds of anti-scraping techniques, which makes web scraping even more difficult. Nevertheless, there are still some methods we can use to get around blocking. Let's take a look. Switch user agents. A user agent is like your ID number, which helps the internet identify which browser is being used. Your browser sends user agent to the website you visit. As you scrape a website, the website will detect a huge number of requests from the same user agent, and this may lead you to the block. To prevent getting blocked, you can switch user agents frequently. Many programmers add fake user agent in the header or manually create a list of user agents to avoid being blocked. With Octopars, you can enable automatic user agent rotation and customize the rotation intervals in your crawler to reduce the risk of being blocked. Slow down the scraping. Most scrapers try to get data as quickly as possible. However, when a human visits a website, his browsing activity is much slower than that of a robot. Therefore, some websites catch a scraper by tracking its access speed. Once it discovers there's a browsing activity going on too fast, it will suspect that you're not a human and block you naturally. To avoid this, you can add some time delay between requests and reduce concurrent page access to one or two pages every time. Set up a wait time between each step to control the scraping speed. Better yet, set up a random time delay to make the scraping process look more like it's done by a human. Treat the website nicely and you'll be able to keep scraping it. Use proxy servers. When a site detects there are a number of requests from a single IP address, it will easily block the IP address. To avoid sending all of your requests from the same IP address, you can use proxy servers. A proxy server acts as a middleman. It retrieves data on the internet on behalf of the user. It also allows you to send requests to website using the IP you set up, masking your real IP address. Of course, if you use a single IP setup in a proxy server, it's still easy to get blocked. You need to create a pool of IP addresses and use them randomly to route your requests through a series of different IP addresses. To get rotated IPs, there are many servers that can help, such as VPNs. Web scripting tools usually make it fairly easy to set up IP rotation in your crawler. For example, Octopus local extraction allows users to set up proxies to avoid being blocked. You can also set up the time interval for IP rotation and enter the IP addresses. Another approach is to use cloud extraction. It's supported by hundreds of cloud servers, each with a unique IP address. When a scripting project is set to execute on the cloud, requests are performed on the target website through various IPs, minimizing the chances of being traced. Clear cookies. A cookie is like a small document containing helpful information about you and your preferences. For instance, you are an English native speaker. You open a website and change the preferred language to English. Cookie will help the website remember your preferred language is English and every time you open the website, it will automatically switch the preferred language to English. If you are scraping a website constantly with the same cookie, it's easy to be detected as a scraping bot activity. Octopus allows you to clear cookies automatically from time to time. 
You can either customize the time interval for switching user agents or choose to clear cookies when IPs switch. Be careful of honeypot traps. Honeypots are like links that are invisible to normal visitors, but they exist in the HTML code and can be found by web scrapers. They are traps to detect scrapers by directing them to blank pages. Once a visitor browses a honeypot page, the website can find out it's not a human visitor and starts throttling or blocking all requests from that client. When building a scraper for a site, it's worth looking carefully to check whether there are any links hidden to users using a standard browser. To precisely click and capture web page content, Octopus uses XPath to locate specific elements on the page. XPath, the HTML path language, is a query language used to navigate through elements in an XML document. All the web pages are HTML documents in nature. Octopus provides an XPath engine so that we can use XPath to locate data on web pages precisely, which helps avoid clicking the fake links. All right, those are all the anti-blocking techniques we're discussing today. If you find this video useful, would you give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel? Thank you so much. What other anti-blocking techniques do you use? Share with us in the comments down below. Our next video about Octopus API is coming soon. Stay tuned.